Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good. Merry Christmas in advance. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Christmas lithopane ornaments. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that everyone have their own um, settings and ways of doing it, but this is just how I do it. So I'm happy with the output that I get. So I'm just showing you the steps and uh, the profile and the settings that I use to create my Christmas ornament lithopanes. So the first thing you do is go to itslitho.com. It's a pretty cool site and this is where you create all your uh, lithopanes basically. So you can click get started. Uh, before I do that, I'll just give a quick rundown at the bottom. You have uh, the tutorial over here. You have different um, shapes and stuff that you can create in this particular website. It's a pretty cool website. I would highly recommend this website to create your lithopanes. And you also have the color version here. Basically, you can just create a lithopane and have it in color. You have a lot of options here okay so let's get started so once you click that this is where you come up okay, you have this plain um, stuff here you have all the settings and things over here upload edit model so before you do anything over here just go to the profiles and you have different options over here you have other uh, you have the Christmas bell um ornament you have the christmas stars little paint stands lambs moon you have a lot of options here and i they have also added a couple of new stuff as well i can't see that here or is it this one um, i think it's this one but anyways um we are going to choose what is it oh yeah we're going to choose this guy okay click on the download button and it automatically changes that um that that object to the cylinder uh, to the spherical object okay now the next thing that you need to do is you need to upload a picture so before i upload a picture okay before i upload any picture over here what i do is i go to photoshop okay and this is uh, the, the canvas size that i have chosen the reason i chose that is because if you go to uh, the guides actually yeah and if you go to the Christmas guides that they have given the Christmas ornament guide you can see that they have already given you the measurement it's basically 1 is to 3 ratio so that's the reason why I have gone to Photoshop and created this canvas size now this is the size that I've given I've just chosen it in inches and I've given 3 by 1 that's all there is to it over here okay and um, I've added six pic five pictures over here I haven't done anything I haven't ch um, changed anything over here so what I would prefer doing here is I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna create a copy just to okay and I'm just going to merge this guy there you go so now it's one single image so the the thing that I'm doing here is there are certain areas in this image where I need it to be darker. Of course, you can upload it here and then go to the edit section and then you can do your brightness, contrast, exposure and everything over here. You guys can do that. There's no problem whatsoever. Nobody, um, I mean, everyone have their own methods. Why I do it in Photoshop is because I get to choose where I want it to be darker. Now, for example, if I want to give a bit darker uh, image, bit uh, darker effects over here I just you know just burn that area off in some areas I can choose where I want it to be darker and not I would want my t-shirt to be a bit more darker and then I could also increase a little bit of brightness by using the dodge tool 
increase the face brightness so this is the only reason why i take it to photoshop there is no other reason whatsoever and then i'm gonna save it as a normal um, jpeg file i'm just gonna save it on the desktop i'm just gonna name it i don't know christmas i guess no i'm just gonna name it ornament there you go and i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna save that as a jpeg file click ok and that's it i'm not doing anything else over here in photoshop you can you guys can completely skip that uh, there's no problem whatsoever so once you do that you come to the upload okay take the file that you just created ornament open and it comes over here the second step is go to edit see the picture has come out over here now you can see that it is a bit washed out this is how every picture is going to look uh, once you take it here on the default settings so here you can increase the contrast a bit and increase the exposure a bit basically you need to adjust these based on the pictures that you have it shouldn't be overexposed because that'll be too much can give a little bit more contrast no I think I need to reduce it a bit more okay I think this will do this is fine for now you can go even you can go even more deeper by you know changing red green and blue um, variations values over here so for me this is enough more than enough I'm just going to go to the model over here and you can see that that picture has come over here Okay, now by default, these are the settings. I haven't changed anything and you can see in the quality options, you can see it's on low. I'm just gonna make it high. So the quality has improved over here. And then the settings over here, shape options, yep. Uh, you have the minimum thickness and the maximum thickness. So the minimum is at 0 0.8 and the maximum is at 2.8. Of course you can um, reduce and play around with these values whatever you like I just stuck to the default uh, I did try 1.8 that also worked for me uh, it does reduce uh, the print time definitely but I like 2.8 it's good it's a good setting so once all this is done all you have to do is where is the download yeah all you have to do is click the download button and you can choose uh, lithopane or the attributes or both together so you choose the lithopane that's what I wanted it and it gets downloaded it's downloaded over here so all you got to do now okay I've got this previous one over here so all you got to do now is drag and drop it onto Cura or Prusa slicer whichever you have slow okay there you go so Guys, you can see you have a lot of red areas over here, which basically means that it requires supports. And you can also see inside uh, where it where it needs supports, basically. Guys, I did print it out. Um, I printed two of them without any supports. You don't need supports, to be honest. You really don't need it. But you can. Of course, you can print it with support. Uh, maybe you can print um, one with support and one without support just to try it out for yourself and maybe find the best settings for you but for me I don't need any supports I printed it as it is and it came out pretty much good so I'm this is the basic settings I haven't created any special profiles or anything like that this is the generic PLA okay and you go to the standard quality and uh, I have chosen uh, 0.2 over here uh, sorry i chose 0 0.16 i didn't choose 0 0.2 i went to 0 0.16 yeah it was pretty good so i'm gonna go to the advanced settings okay um layer height pretty much the only change i've done is the 0 0.16 there's nothing else that i need to do over here and then go to walls the wall line count i'm just going to make it two and then 
um, nothing much to do in the top bottom so infill density what I normally do is I make it 99 now there are uh, guys who actually do it the other way they increase the wall line count and uh, reduce the infill density but I find this more uh, suitable for me so this is what I go through the infill pattern I've chosen as lines the printing temperature will depend on your particular filament so I always print it at 190 for the PLA the PLA that I'm using is uh, a Creality white PLA which I purchased from Banggood and the build plate temperature I keep it at 60 the speed is at 50 I don't play around with that um, everything else I keep it as it is stock enable retraction I give it 5.2 because that's what I found is the best for my particular PLA it, it will really depend on your PLA the cooling fan speed is at 100 support you don't need supports I'm not clicking supports build plate addition okay this one I changed to brim just in case and the brim line count I changed to 10 because you don't need so much over here this is just for um, you know just for a little bit of extra addition to the bed that's it and that's about it so let's slice it the time taken is 10 hours and 53 minutes and it will use 31 grams definitely reduce the time by reducing the infill of course um, for example let's just try it out let's make the infill density around I don't know 50 50% infill and the walls let me just increase it to 3 let's see how it comes out it reduced okay so it reduced a bit not much but you get it for 9 hours and 48 minutes now this time will in, you know decrease even more you know um, taking it back to 99 and the wall line count to 2 okay now if I go back here and change the minimum thickness and the maximum thickness okay so if I reduce the maximum thickness to let's say um, okay let's make it zero itself I mean two so the maximum thickness is two okay now if I download that let the pane it's been downloaded so I'm gonna drag that I'm just gonna delete the original file I'm gonna bring the the time has to drastically reduce because the first uh, I printed two of them and the first one was printed with the current settings that you can see and that took 10 hours the second one took only around seven hours or something oh there you go seven hours exactly this is what the second one was so yeah so that makes a big difference as you can see here 0 0.8 is the minimum thickness i didn't touch that the maximum thickness the, sta the default one is 2.8 um bring it to two it's not going to make much of a difference but you know bring it to two and you can save yourself a couple of hours as well and once you print this thing once you're done with this guy you obviously need the holders at the top and the bottom right so you go back here if you scroll all the way down you have four types okay you have the pure version drop drop version creamy and swirl so I downloaded the pure version you need to purchase them by the way it's 1.90 uh, euros each so you have the options over here when you click download it takes you to cult 3d and directly you just have to make a purchase and once it's done you get a pretty cool looking christmas lithopane ornament it's pretty cool okay guys that's about it so advanced merry christmas and an advanced new year